Hey everyone, hope you're doing well today. Trancha Dan here, very, very quick video. I have another unboxing to do. So I have the box just here. Make sure you can't see my address, decent sized box. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this very quickly and we'll have a look at what's inside. Of course, uh, this has been sent by the guys over at the spider shop. And as you know, um, I, I will sort of give them shout outs whenever I can. I deal with them an awful lot. If you are in the UK and if you keep tarantulas or if you don't, they are my number one place to go to, I guess. So uh, there will be links in the description to the spider shop, go check them out. Um, there are links to these guys in every single one of my videos. They are linked at the bottom or in the middle, I think. So yeah, um, whether you keep tarantulas or not, if you want to go have a look at what they have, link to them in the description. Again, it's the spyshop.co.uk. And with that said, I've, got, I've sort of like already sort of like flipped this, but I haven't actually sort of had a look inside. So I'm going to um, get everything out and then continue filming. Okay then, so everything is now unpacked and I'll be showing you the things one at a time. So I haven't got many things, but I've got some pretty cool things that we'll be using in future videos. So firstly, nothing too exciting here. I have some adult locusts. Um, these are not very expensive. I, I think I have the list here. Um, yeah, £2.35. So cheaper than going to a pet shop. And yeah, just pretty simple really. Just food. You can hear Ramsey in the background going mental. The next thing are uh, these. I have, it actually is one pack, but I have in this there's two packs worth of hissing cockroaches. And the reason they're called hissing cockroaches is because of course they hiss. Um, if the camera will focus. Is it focusing? There we go. So this is a hissing cockroach. Um, they are pretty big. Oops, so daisy, I don't want it to sort of run away. But yeah, it's pretty big, as you can see. Um, and they do this, um, this kind of hissing sound, which this one, it is doing, but I don't think you'd be able to pick it up. Yeah. But yeah, cockroaches are awesome. These are harmless. Um, they actually make really, really good pets. Some of these I shall keep for just that purpose. Sorry, my cameras are focusing. Some of these uh, shall be kept as kind of pets, I guess, because they are, although they look pretty scary, they are lovely. They're just, I mean, you can see I'm sort of stroking this one and it's not giving me any hassle. They're easy to care for. They do not bite. They do not smell. Um, so yeah, they're just awesome. So I have a pack, two packs worth in there. So I think that's, I think that's sort of 10 or 12 or something in there. I don't know exactly. Uh, and they were £3.33 each. Um, so that's obviously two packs worth and obviously with a VAT was like eight quid, which isn't bad at all. Next thing up, I have a tarantula. Um, Avicularia species Columbia, um, which is the uh, metallic silver pink toe. This is a two centimeter specimen. I uh, really, I had one of these ages ago and it, it Sadly, it got to a decent size and it died during a molt, which was absolutely, well, beyond sort of disappointing. But, so here it is. Um, absolutely wonderful looking tarantula. This one was uh, 15 pounds. So, not very big. And for anyone that doesn't know, you can chip spiders in the post. It does not harm them. Um, they are sort of kept fairly, um, you know, they're kept kind of moist in there and no harm will come to the spider in there. But what's next is the star of the show I guess today and that is this. This is a velvet worm. Um, species is, if I can pronounce this, Peripatus species velvet worms. This is the medium to large. This was $16.99 and these are incredibly rare to get in you know, in the hobby as a, as a pet, shall we say, if I just take some of this out. So I believe it is just the one, I only ordered the one, so I'm just gonna double check. And that's it, there's nothing else in there. And you can actually see it, 
just here. I'm going to very carefully pick it up and get it out and then you can have a look at it. So here it is, this is the Velvet Worm. Uh, these are really, really cool, unique predators. Notice the word predators there. Uh, this is not a dirt eating worm. It is, I would describe it, imagine like a centipede, but that feels like a caterpillar. So yeah, um, kind of squidgy and soft. And what these do is they can, um, they can kind of shoot like a, like a sticky substance. Um, they will bite off chunks of their prey. Um, and I will, when I, I will be getting some, hopefully some good footage of this in a feeding video. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to sort of show you guys how it takes down its prey. So a future feeding video will be this velvet worm. Um, very excited to have this. I know it probably looks really strange and you think, well, why are you excited to have that? It looks really weird, but you know, bear with me. You can see the legs they are little, kind of like little stumpy caterpillar legs, as I said, just coming up my arm. It's not very big. I actually thought it would be bigger. So I'll be doing a fact video on this to tell you if you've never seen one of these because they are really weird, they're very cool looking and they are, as I said, they are very, very rare. You do not get them very often in the hobby. Super quick video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss uh, my future videos. Hit the uh, bell icon so that you, of course, don't miss my videos when they're up. And of course, don't forget to check out the spider shop because they have really, really awesome video. Um, they have really sort of, you know, awesome um, inverts for sale, and you should definitely check them out. So, with that said, thank you for watching, everyone. Take care, and I shall see you all soon in the next video.